Hi, welcome to Angel's Anything Show, and we're back, baby. That's right, we're back. It's been a while. Sorry I've been gone. I have depression. <laughs> and also, I just started working again, which is why I look so fucking tired right now, because I literally just worked a full day for the first time since like 2010, and I'm exhausted. But luckily, this week, I got my Freshly. <laughs> this is not sponsored. This is not sponsored. But I thought, what better video to mark my arrival back on YouTube than one of these meal kit vids? Because I feel like they're a hit. Like, I like doing those videos. I think they're fun. So basically, Freshly is like a meal, like a microwavable dinner thing, which is very depressing and very gross. So I'm gonna do this for lunch, and I don't really have high hopes for it. Do you have a pen? <laughs> Your life is so depressing, you gotta do this at lunchtime? Yeah, I told you guys I, was in, I have depression, so I'm eating TV dinners now. <laughs> No, I picked stuff out that would like be more lunch-like. Can we try Hungry Men at some point? Hungry Men? Yeah, the Hungry Men. The Hungry Men? The cans? No, they're like professed TV dinners. Well, also, because we're going camping this weekend, and I start, I started working a lot this week, so I was like, I don't want to fuck around with lunch, so this will be a perfect thing. I can't get this shit open, though. And for those wondering, yeah, we still do HelloFresh. Oh, God. Recycled jeans. I like that. That's cool. I could use this. You're not using this. You're a friggin' hoarder. I am. Look at it. No, you're it not. It has Reflectix you, on the other side. You are a hoarder, though. Another ice pack. Don't show Dan the oh, I'm just white, white balancing on your skin. <laughs> Tell me this isn't kind of, like, depressing. Takeout twists. Oh, I got a chicken tikka masala. I got... Figured you would... Did I get two of those? No. Okay, okay. Okay, so this is what I got. Chicken tikka masala. But this is... How many calories? 510 for lunch. You know, I've been working out a lot, so that's fine. It looks... Uh, look at this. I don't know. Looks good to me. I mean, I'm gonna eat the shit out of it, don't get me wrong. Okay, I'm not gonna show each thing yet, but... Then I got a paleo-friendly, paleo, keto. <laughs> um, pulled pork with tangy BBQ sauce and dirty Kali rice. A savory sweet chicken teriyaki bowl with basmati rice and veggies. Are any of these things making dick move? Any of them? All of them? Yeah. Any of them? Yeah, I can eat all of them. But any of them making your dick move? Nothing makes my dick move <laughs> I know. Red pepper chicken bowls with grains and green lentils. I don't know. Vote in the comments below about what I should eat tomorrow. See you then. Okay guys, we're back, it's the next day. It's about 2 p.m. and you know, I'm just in the middle of a busy work day, you know? Working very hard, I need a vacation. So it's time to eat lunch, I'm in a rush. So let's pick out a Freshly, what do you guys think? We have chicken tikka masala. <sighs> Remove sleeve and peel corner of film to vent. Microwave for three minutes, let stand for two minutes. Carefully peel back film to remove. Our chef suggests plating your meal before enjoying. For the mental, probably, because it's a lot less depressing to do that. Well, what do we think? Okay guys, time for the taste test. This is disgusting. I love, it. no, I don't know. I know I'm very critical of these meal, but look, I'm, I'm always very critical of these meal kits. Every single video I'm like, very critical of them, and then I end up loving them. So let's see. It's very just runny. Chicken tikka masala is like a hard thing to recreate, so let's see. It's all right. 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 <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> it's not great, it's not bad. It's not spicy really at all for a chicken tikka masala, you know? It's nothing that I couldn't make, but they made it for me. And I guess that's the idea. Okay, we're back. It's another day and another lunch. Today we're going with the red pepper chicken bowl and whole grains and green lentils. I don't know, this sounds fucking disgusting, but what do you think? You don't want to be in it. 
<laughs> Dan's here, but he refuses to be on camera. But he'll make fucking commentary in the background, that's for sure. Fuck you, whore. <laughs> so this is 490 calories. It's, again, a lot of sodium in these things. Mm. All right, so you guys know the deal. Peel the plastic back. Real depressing. Real depressing. And what do we have inside? It smells all right. It looks... It looks like they took that sauce from the chicken tikka masala I had yesterday and they're like, fuck it, throw it in this one. I'm getting aromas here. I'm getting some notes of, what are you getting notes of? Any, you getting notes? Diarrhea, vomit. <laughs> are you getting any notes? I sauce. The smell the people? What? Are you, are you talking to me? Yeah. It smells weird. Wait, Dan, come here. I want to tell you the story about how somebody literally drove into the stop sign on our sidewalk today. Mm. I don't know what's more disgusting. This meal or the inside of my microwave? Jesus Christ. We've plated it as per the chef's request on the back of the thing. Let's see. I don't know what this is. Oh, the sweet potato. What even is this meal? All right, here's a piece of chicken. Does it taste like chicken? It does, but what it is, it's like mushy and it's fine. Like I'll eat it, but this tastes like me at my worst trying to eat something healthy and I throw it together and it's like, looks like sailor food, you know? You wanna try? You know what I mean? It's like, it just is what it is. It's not anything more, or anything less, you know? Can I get a piece of chicken? That's sweet potato. Is that chicken? I don't know. I like that. All right, so it's later in the day. And it's actually what some people would call the evening. And I have to eat another one of these again. And I really don't want to, but Dan and I had a busy day. We had some errands to run after dinner. And so I'm on my own for dinner tonight. And this is what I'm making. Paleo-friendly pulled pork with Kali rice. Dirty Kali rice. I don't know what that means. I hope they washed it. There's a lot of ingredients and it's only 410 calories. None of these meals have left me feeling particularly full, so this maybe will be an appetizer. I don't know. So you guys know the drill. Three minutes in the microwave. <laughs> Three set. Oh no! Two minutes, 30 seconds. Whew, thank God I checked. What is this supposed to be again? Am I gonna get, um... Diarrhea. Why is this so close? No, what's that disease with the pork? Trichinosis? Am I failed I that class, I don't know. Am I gonna get trichinosis from this? Stay tuned to find out. I don't know about this. This looks like prison food. I would say out of all the meals so far, this is the most prison food like. Let me first look at this. It's cauliflower. Don't you think there should be a lot more? Stop going back and forth. Stop doing that. It's very annoying to watch stuff like that. I'll just stay down here. No. Don't jerk it so fast. All the YouTubers do it. Well, it's annoying. Well, they have millions of Don't followers, okay? Don't you think kay? that for cauliflower, it should be a little more if they're going the cauliflower route? Now show. I'm serious, it's really annoying. Okay. And stop trying to be a part of this. You don't want to be a part of it, you're not a part of it. This is for real, I'm not, you're annoying the shit out of me right now. Well, let me back, uh, now I can get both. Why not set? Okay, so don't you think if they're going with the cauliflower, it should be a little more? Like, this is so scant. But let me try it. Terrible. You wanna try it? Yeah. Okay. What is this? It's the dirty cauliflower. Horrible, right? Not, no salt. Where's the salt on this one? Mmm, that's right? weird. It's bad, right? Yeah. It tastes oniony. Okay, and then there's like some collard green moment with pork. We're gonna get trichinosis from this. I mean. Pretty good. I fuck it. <laughs> Wanna try? That was a weird thing to say, right? I'm sorry. I apologize. Ooh. <laughs> it's terrible though, right? I put that on a sandwich. Alright, we done here? No, um. This what? tastes all right, this tastes bad, this is not, 410 calories does not a dinner make, especially for this growing girl, uh, but I'm gonna eat it, just like all the other meals, 
it is what it is. But I will say, the more I eat these, the more like, like an hour later, my tongue starts to get dry, like my whole body's dehydrated. I feel like a slug with salt sprinkled on it. My tongue's already dry. Right, because it's so salty. But there is no salt. But there is no nutrition either. So that's my review thus far. Cut. See you tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not leaving that in. I'm not leaving that in. We're back, guys, and guess what? It's time for our final, it's time for our final freshly meal kit, thank God. Because I, I actually don't want to eat this. I think I saved the worst for last. Um, hold on. And I'm not, and I'm not excited about this at all. We're doing the sweet, don't, no, savory sweet chicken teriyaki bowl. This is 430 calories, 920 grams of salt, milligrams of salt. 920, that's the most any of these have had. Okay, it's time for the big reveal. Okay, I'm here sitting at my desk, just working through lunch, you know how it goes, busy, busy girl. Um, here's this, it smells all right. It's like a mixture of dark looking rice, like rice that got like seasoning on it, and then just white plain rice, and chicken, some mushy vegetables, let's see. Everything tastes like the same. Every meal tastes the same. <laughs> like this just tastes like some type of meat with rice and mushiness. You know, nothing has a distinct flavor profile. That's something I've noticed. Like it's fine. I'll eat it. Oh, it's supposed to be sweet and savory. It's interesting because these meals have so much salt, but yet they taste somewhat bland. Okay, so after three long, grueling days of eating these freshly pre-made meal kits, it's time for my final thoughts. None of it was horrible, and none of it like gave me diarrhea or anything, although I did have a few questionable bowel movements the last few days. <laughs> I can see why people that are on the go or whatever like it because it's obviously it's already made and it was helpful for me this week because I was busy starting work and I'm going out of town tomorrow so it was nice to like save time and not make lunch but the issue is that there's nothing that I ate that I couldn't make better myself and it was all very basic type of meals and I could also make it taste better and make it healthier if I did it myself so I was really just paying entirely for the convenience and not for the actual taste. Now, if somebody else that like never cooks for themselves, like doesn't care, maybe their bar is a little lower, and they might like it, I don't know. But it was also very, very high in salt, so not really something that you'd wanna sustain for a long period of time, I don't think. Also, I had a coupon, so I think it was around like 38 bucks, but I would not pay, I mean, $10 for one of those, like, no. And like I mentioned, I never felt full when I finished eating it, any of them. I never felt like, ooh, super satisfied. Now, I did pick ones with slightly lower calories because it's a lunchtime thing, so I'm not trying to eat like 700 calories. But still, I feel like you could have eaten like a big salad and, had, and been more full. So that's the video, guys. I'm sorry I haven't gone for so long. I just needed a break. I have not felt inspo, not inspired for anything. Like, but now I'm maybe turning a corner, so I'm ready to come back. I'm not, I'm, I can't come on here and just give you guys shit. Like, I can't, so. You get what you get when you get it, but good stuff is coming. So thank you for rocking with me after all these years. <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. It's a week later. My table's a mess here, but I just want to show you that Dan still has not done anything with this and that he is a hoarder, a hoarder indeed.